Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I am going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to make a delicious healthy tuna fish wrap guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a delicious healthy tuna fish wrap. In my bowl over here I have four cans of tuna fish that I went ahead and drained. Um, the tuna fish was in water so I went ahead and I drained all the water from my tuna fish and this is wild caught um, tuna fish non-gmo you could use any type of tuna fish you like but this is what I have today so I have four cans of tuna fish here that I went ahead and let me show you the package for the tuna fish um, here you have it it's um, bumblebee and there it is it's wild caught albacore and it's non-gmo tuna fish and you could get this in any grocery store so that, there you have it there for the tuna fish and in my dish over here I have some celery some cucumbers some roasted tomatoes and roasted peppers with some red um, onion that I finely chopped here as you could see and this is what I'm going to be adding to my tuna fish also I have some finely chopped um, finely chopped um, lettuce here that I have in my dish here which I'm going to be adding also I have one teaspoon of lemon juice I have some um, avocado oil mayonnaise and also I have some chipotle that I'm going to be adding in and I have my wrap here so let's start it first with our um, mixture so in my dish here I have my tuna fish which I'm just going to bring this over a little so you could see I have my tuna fish in my bowl here I am going to go ahead and I am going to add all of my mixture here to my tuna fish just like that I am going to add my one teaspoon of lemon juice and also I am going to be adding my lettuce to my tuna fish here and I am going to be adding my chipotle and I'm going to be adding about two tablespoon um, two teaspoon of my chipotle so I'm going to be adding I'm just going to orbit it and add about two teaspoon of my chipotle here and I'm also going to be adding two teaspoon of my avocado mayonnaise that's one and that's two and also I am going to be adding some guacamole to my tuna fish salad here so I'm going to be adding one of the package of guacamole to my tuna fish here okay just like that and I am going to add a sprinkle of black pepper about a teaspoon of black pepper this is optional and I am going to be adding just a little bit of pepper flakes not a lot but these are all optional I like my tuna fish spicy so that is the reason I'm adding the chili flakes and what I'm going to do now I'm going to go ahead and give all my mixture here a nice mix let everything cooperate into the tuna fish and 
and it smells so good already so good so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to add just a little bit of salt a pinch of salt not a lot and I am going to continue to mix all of my ingredients here until everything is completely mixed and you're going to want to go ahead and give it a taste to see what it tastes like And this is totally delicious. The lemon, the chipotle, and the guacamole, and the roasted tomatoes, and roasted pepper all brings out such a nice flavor. Okay guys, so th this is what it looks like. Let me bring it up closer so you could see that. That's what it looks like. So now I am going to go ahead and I am going to prepare my wrap for my tuna fish here. So what I'm going to do over here, I have my grill pan that is heated up nicely. I am going to go ahead and I am going to put my stove on on medium heat. And I'm going to let my grill pan heat up a little. My grill pan heat up a little. While over here, I will go ahead and I will start it to prepare the rocks. So right here, I have my beautiful rock that I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scoop my mixture into my wrap here nice amount of my mixture here just like that and what you want it to do you want it to fold the two ends just like that and bring over the top and you're going to continue to roll it just like that okay and you're going to lay it into your pan just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to show you another. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to layer my mixture into my wrap here. And I am going to fold the two ends just like that. And I am going to roll this out nicely without trying to break it just like that and I am going to lay this into my grill pan I'm going to continue to do the wraps I'm going to do one more of my wrap here I'm going to add my tuna fish And I am going to fold it over nicely without trying to break it. And I am going to start to roll my edge just like that without breaking it. Just like that. And I am going to add this to my grill pan. And I will make one last wrap. And again, I am going to fold it over and I am going to roll it out and I am going to put this in
into my grill pan and let that grill up. And then I'll go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like. In the meantime, I will go ahead and I will put the rest of my tuna mixture into a bowl, into my refrigerator, and you could store this up to two days into your refrigerator, and you could use it anytime you like. It will stay up to two days in your refrigerator. So there I have it. I put it into a seal lock container and this is what I'm going to be storing into my refrigerator. Okay, so I have my wrap which is nicely toasting up here. And this is toasting up nicely here. I'm going to let it continue to toast and then I'll give it a turn. And this delicious wrap did not take more than five minutes to make. And it's such a healthy and delicious wrap. And this did not take more than five minutes to cook up here. I'm going to let it continue to toast nicely here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll show you the next step of the wrap. Okay, so to go with my wrap, I am going to go ahead and I am going to make a delicious dragon fruit berry smoothie. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a delicious dragon fruit berry. And this is what the dragon fruit look like, guys. For some of us who don't know, this is what the dragon fruit look like. And you could get, it, get this fruit into any grocery store or Asian um, store. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make that. In the meantime, let me check on my wrap over here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip my wrap so the other side could post up nicely here. Just like that. Look how nicely this is toasting up, guys. That's exactly what you wanted to see. So I'm going to let this toast for another minute or so, and then I'll go ahead and I'll remove that. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my stove off. And I am going to take my wrap in a minute so you can see what it looks like. Look at that guys, look how delicious that looks. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to plate that in just a minute so I can show you what that looks like. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and I am going to start with my smoothie, which I have my dragon fruit here. And I'm going to start with my dragon fruit berry blast smoothie. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to bring my machine over here to get started with my berry blast, my dragon fruit berry blast. So here you have it. Into my container here, my pitcher, I have one and a half cup of coconut water and one cup of ice. So it's one and a half cup of coconut water and one cup of ice. And in my bag here, I went ahead and I washed some blackberry, blueberry, cranberry, cherries, which I take the pit out, and some strawberries that I washed and I freeze. So this is what I'm going to be making. Put it into my pitcher there. And also, I am going to go ahead and I am going to 
cut this a little at the corner there. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cut my dragon fruit. Just like that. And I am going to take a spoon and try to scoop my dragon fruit out. Just like that, guys. There's no hardness about this. See that? And I am going to scoop it into my pitcher there. And I'm going to make sure that I scoop all of it out. Just like that, into the pitcher. I am going to go ahead and put my lid on. And I am going to give this a blend. My beautiful delicious tuna fish wrap and my dragon fruit berry blast there you have it guys I hope you like this video guys if you do kindly give it a thumbs up for all who have liked and shared my videos I thank you so very much there you have it my tuna fish wrap with my dragon my dragonberry smoothie there you have it guys look at that look how delicious that is look at that healthy tuna fish wrap with a dragon blast smoothie all fresh fruit guys okay or you could use frozen fruit there you have it thank you for watching i hope you like this video if you do kindly give it a thumbs up for all who have liked and shared my video i thank you so very much and everyone who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so very much. Who have not yet subscribed, I kindly ask if you could do so. I would very much appreciate it. And on the right hand corner of the screen, there is a notification bell. You could go ahead and click on that. You will be notified every time I upload a new video. But there you have it guys. My delicious, delicious tuna fish wrap with my delicious dragon fruit berry blast. There you have it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.